Hey everybody, it's Marty from Aspect LED. Today we are going to talk about our PWM booster. These are also called the RGB amplifier and the RGBW amplifier. We're going to talk about why you would need an amplifier. We're gonna do an unboxing and we're gonna show an example of these being used. So first of all, let's talk about why would you use an RGB amplifier? Well, that's a great question. If you're using one of our normal receivers, like the Z-Series receiver, it has a wattage limit. That is a power limit. And that limit is 192 watts. So say you wanted to do a larger project that you wanted to control from the same controller. That's where the booster comes in. If you put this in the output of one of those controllers, you can boost that power up to 432 watts on the RGB version, or even 480 watts on the RGBW version. The RGB version has three channels. The RGBW version has four channels. Now let's do an unboxing. Let's go ahead and unbox these. So here we have the RGB amplifier. And in the other box here, we have our RGBW or our four channel RGB amplifier, PWM booster. It's all of those things. Let's take a look at these. So let's go ahead and pull the plastic out of here and take a look at what we have. You know, these come with screws for mounting the caps. These can be mounted in your project via these slots right here. These come without the screws installed, but let's talk about these connections right here. So this is going to be connected to your power supply. So when you're using one of these, as we said before, this is for injecting power into a system or to grow a system. This is where that additional power supply is going to connect. V plus, V minus. Then we have the signal side of things. This is where your signal is going to come from your source and it's going to go to one of these terminals. This is a three channel version. And over here on the RGBW, we have the four channel version. That just adds that additional W channel. You can call them channels. You can call them what they are, RGBW. You don't have to use these with RGB lights though. You can use these with single color lights over multiple channels to do pretty cool things. Let's pull off the other end here. Now, on the output side, this is where your load is gonna go. Let me pull this up here on both of these. So say you're using a strip light. This is where it's gonna connect, or any type of light. B plus is the first terminal. So if you're using a strip light, that's going to be the black wire for an RGB or RGBW strip. If you're using it with a recessed light that is PWM dimmable, that's where your red lead's gonna go. And then we have each additional channel here. Red, green, blue, white, red, green. Sorry, blue, green, red. This one's in a different order. So that is just a quick rundown on the terminals and the unboxing of the RGBW and the RGB amplifier. Here is a great example of where to use a PWM booster. Here is my existing system. I have a power supply, a Z-series receiver, and two strip lights. These are RGBW ultra bright strips. They are rated at 5.5 watts per foot and we have approximately 32 feet. If you do the math on that, we're sitting at right around 180 watts, a strip light that we're powering. The limit on this is 192 watts. Now, I wanna add an additional strip light to this project. I cannot really add much to this because of the limits for wattage on this. Now I could add another receiver, but the booster is another option to that. If we go and add the booster, let's take a look at the mass. If we add in 90 additional watts, which is 16.4 times 5.5, that's gonna put us at 270 watts. Now what we're going to do next here is we're gonna replace this power supply, put a PWM booster in here, and get this wired up and we'll show you what it looks like. 
Okay, now I've connected a larger power supply over here, and actually I've taken and connected that directly to my RGBW amplifier right here. Then I ran a little feed to the Z-Series receiver because none of the load is gonna be on that anymore. I used some of our RGBW wire to connect the signal out from the receiver to the amplifier, and I connected all three strips to the output of this receiver. Now we have plenty of power to power all of the strips that we've added without overloading any of our components. Thank you for watching. For more helpful information, please reach out to our team of LED experts and light up that subscribe button.